This amateur video was purportedly filmed on February the 6th and shows British citizen Abdul Wahid Majid outside the Syrian city of Aleppo. He's surrounded by fighters from the Al-Qaeda-linked rebel group, the Al-Nusra Front. Majid speaks with a British accent. The English Everyone asked me. Majid is then seen driving a truck packed with explosives up to the walls of Aleppo prison. Majid and scores of others are killed. Syrian rebels reported that several prisoners escaped. Shiraz Meha is from the International Centre for the Study of Radicalisation at King's College London. The suicide bombing suggests a level of zealotry um, that is quite unprecedented. They are fighters and they are on the ground to do two things. One is to remove Assad but also to achieve martyrdom. Meha estimates that up to 366 British citizens are fighting in Syria, more than waged jihad in Iraq or Afghanistan. Given the narrative of the Western world that our own government governments regard Assad as a tyrant, as someone who should be removed from power. It isn't so morally ambiguous. The British government is cracking down. In January alone, 16 Britons suspected of taking part in the fighting or attempting to travel there were arrested upon their return home. For the whole of 2013, there were 24 arrests. Past experience suggests British jihadists pose twin security risks, says Raffaello Pantucci of the Royal United Services Institute. In Afghanistan and Pakistan, where we saw young Britons who were drawn out there to fight in some of the jihadi conflicts out there, who ended up being directed by Al-Qaeda Corps to come back and launch attacks in the United Kingdom. We can see in other examples, like in Iraq, for example, that young Britons were drawn out there, um, some of whom came back having received some sort of training or some sort of experience out there, and decided that it was their duty to try to do something in the United Kingdom. This suicide attack in December was reportedly carried out by Nicola Bonds, a French jihadist fighting with the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant. An estimated 700 French citizens have travelled to Syria. French anti-terror judge Marc Trevidic is calling for more engagement with Muslim communities at home. So far, we've only relied on anti-terrorist justice. This means on crackdown only, and that's a failure. Experts say social media allows would-be jihadists to watch the Syrian conflict unfold in real time and easily connect with fighters on the ground to plan their journey. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.